Do we need to talk about Cleveland Keller? Um, I think we can, yeah. I like. I mean, he got a little bit of criticism for the goal at the during the week, but I didn't see that game. It wasn't on TV. They obviously won handily. Klopp said the second half performance was the best of his tenure. I love when Klopp comes out with things like this, but yeah, you know, moment. it might not have been the best. But you know what? It, it it does show you to Will's point their their, their recent form. But uh, I think you can make a mistake like that. What I was impressed with when I was watching him last weekend. Um, against Brentford was how much more in command of the area he is. Like, he made a couple of really good saves, one in particular during that game. But I'm not overly worried about the saves he makes or the goals he lets in. Those things happen. It's almost as in, is this guy going to be your playmaker? Does he have that confidence? Is he somebody that can step into Alisson's shoes and not massively let the standards drop? And I saw it more in the last couple of weeks than I've seen it at any point in his career. So, really positive stuff. I do wonder if they thought that he was going to be Alisson's medium-term replacement, would they then just send him out on loan in the Premier League? That would be what you would do. You would take the short-term hit for the medium-term gain. I think they'd have to buy another goalkeeper if that happened. Yeah, yeah, but they just don't trust Adrian. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. I think that or, or there is somebody on the books that they can use for 10 games a year. Um, and you can find goalkeepers, like Villa bought the Arsenal, or the Arsenal, the Australian goalkeeper for 2 million. So uh, Man United bought that Turkish goalkeeper. There, there are goalkeepers out there who mm. would be grand for 10 games. Um, now, it's obviously it, it's a bit of a yeah. high wire, but if you do think that you're going to be able to sell Alisson mm. for 70, 80, 90, 100 million and replace him with Cueven Keller for nothing, in the uh, constrained financial situation that we find ourselves in, weird stuff like this is going to happen in the next couple of years. I haven't heard too much at all about Liverpool's um, FFP situation. They always seem to be in pretty good shape. They organise it well. They obviously sell players a big money, but by the standards of the, what every other team is doing, Kelleher is a big asset for them because he's he's a pure profit under balance sheet. To that point, <coughs> it's more likely that they'll just sell him. Yeah, than I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, if City are willing to get rid of someone as, as good as Cole Palmer for not quite cents on the dollar I mean they got a lot of money for him but at the same time you think in the old way of building a football team you keep Cole Palmer around and you see what he is when he's 23 and he could be your you know he he, he plays his way into your team and he's a big yeah. big big player for you and instead they were like first chance they get out the door you know we're not sending you on loan because that's no good to us and Douglas Louise. And have, like they've they've been happy to sell players. They're, yeah, they obviously have a business Douglas model Louise that hadn't broken works. into their team but yeah yeah same but, same yeah. you know but like um uh, it, it is uh, we've built this academy we're buying players from all around the world we're selling them for profit and we're going to buy players who we think are going to be absolute superstars yeah. so.